Hi staff, in this video we're going to go through how to do an activation. You'll notice that from this point forward they're going to be submitted digitally. So the active status form is pretty much the same, but just please be sure to all type these in onto your computer. We won't be printing off any more paper from, from now on. Uh, all of the actual columns should be pretty much the same, except now we're doing curricular competencies here instead of um, outcomes. But the key component that's now changing is we're emailing all of this documentation to westshore at sd62.bc.ca. Uh, you don't necessarily have to put a signature in here. If you have a digital signature and you want to attach it, by all means. But as long as you just type in your name, that's completely fine from uh, this point forward as well. And be sure to still have your date. As for your gradebook attachment, you can use whatever program you, you prefer. But I'm going to use the example in Moodle here again. So I'm still going to use a user report, and once I choose a student here, you'll notice that I'm going to have my couple grades of what I'm going to activate the student with, and then my blank grades of all the other assignments that will follow later on in the course. But instead of actually sending this to the printer, what I'm doing, I'm going to just right click, go print, but I'm going to save it as a PDF. Just be sure to save this for later because you're going to need it for your actual attachment to the email. As for your corresponding assignments, we'll once again need to make sure that your name, student number, date, and corresponding scores are included. You'll also need to be sure to include all your feedback on this document. I imagine now because we're doing this all digitally, you'll want to use track changes within Word or whatever software program you're using, as you can see here. Uh, we're going to try to stay away from handwriting feedback from this point forward uh, for clarity's sake. You'll also want to save this in PDF format as well. Once you have your active status sheet, your grade book, and each of your assignments saved in PDF, we're going to merge them. So we're going to open up a program called Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Pro DC. Go to File, Create, and then Combine Files into a single PDF. Here you can simply drag and drop or choose the files you're going to add. As you can see here, I've got my gradebook, my activation sheet, and my assignment. I just add the files. I can then drag and drop the files in an order I want them to be in so that I've got my active sheet first, my gradebook second, my assignment third. Click Combine. Now my entire PDF has everything I need to attach to an email. I can save this. I'm going to save it with a specific file name. All files should be saved in the following format. The student's last name, underscore. The student's first name, underscore. The course code, as it would be found in MyEd, underscore. And then the course instance, for example, OL18. You'll then put another underscore and the word activation. Please save this as it will be the attachment to your email. So in conclusion, you need your activation sheet, gradebook and all your corresponding assignments with name, student number, date, score, and feedback in PDF format. You're going to merge that PDF into a PDF file that looks like this format on the screen and you're going to email it to westshore at sd62.bc.ca. We will then send you a confirmation and be sure you've received that from us and that should pretty much do it. If you have any questions in this regard, just contact John at Westshore. He'll be happy to help.